Prime Minister David Cameron visited Eastleigh today, a seat he describes as crucial to winning the general election. Winnell's cameras were there to record the speech. For a full report, make sure you tune in to Winnell Live at 5 this Wednesday. I'm delighted to be here in Eastleigh and delighted to be here with Mims Davis, who's going to be the next Conservative Member of Parliament for Eastleigh. Yeah. Yeah. This is one of the constituencies that will make the difference between whether we have a government with competence, with grip, with a long-term economic plan, or whether we have the chaos of Ed Miliband in Downing Street and all that would mean. And we've had an interesting weekend of it in many ways, because if there was anyone in this room who thought the worst possible outcome of the election was an Ed Miliband-led Labour government, actually, I can now tell you something that would be even worse, and that is Ed Miliband in Downing Street supported by the Scottish National Party who want to break up our United Kingdom. So the battle at this election has become even more important. Now I've been making speeches setting out very clearly the themes of our coming election manifesto. And they all really boil down to one word, security. What we want to achieve is greater security for everyone, for every family and for our country. Now, the foundation of that security is a Britain that lives within its means. A Britain that gets debt and deficit under control, because from that flows everything else. Without a strong economy, you can't have a strong health service or a strong education system. So that is the foundation of our security. But I'm going to be going on, as I was last week, to talk about the security of a job for everyone, full employment. The security of a good school place for your child, the security of a home you can call your own, and the security of dignity and long-term security in retirement. Today I want to talk about financial security. I want to talk about tax. And why this is so important is after the security of a job, the next best thing we can do is to cut people's taxes and let them keep more of their own money to spend as they choose. That is our aim. We've got 1.75 million more people in work in our country. Each one of those statistics is someone who's out there earning a wage, bringing home a pay packet, providing security for their family. And I want to help them by cutting their taxes. Now this isn't just some vague promise, because we have a record. Since I became Prime Minister, we've lifted to £10,000 the amount of money that you can earn before you start paying income tax. That has effectively cut people's taxes, by 24 million people's taxes, by over £700. And crucially, it's taken 3 million of the poorest people in our country out of income tax altogether. And today I want to set out how we'll go further in the next part. And I think this is right for three very good reasons why I believe in tax cuts. First of all, there's a clear economic case. A low tax economy is a successful economy. When we cut taxes, we reward work, we reward enterprise, we reward effort, we make our economy more competitive. So there's an economic case. There's also a moral case. We should start from the proposition that it is people's money, not the government's money, so we should leave them with as much of their own money to spend as we can, rather than frittering it away on wasteful government projects. But even more than that, I believe there's a practical case, and I am a practical, common-sense, down-to-earth conservative. And it's this. Many people in our country want that greater financial security that we offer. So what we should be aiming to do, as well as getting them a job, is helping to leave them with more of their own money so they can afford the things that they want and the better life and the greater security that they need. Today, the 40p rate is paid by one in six of all taxpayers. It's paid by uh, some police officers, some teachers, many people working in our NHS, people who work incredibly hard in the private sector and business, who aren't in any way uh, wealthy people, but who are hard-working people and who are frustrated at having to pay a 40p tax rate. So our pledge is that no one earning less than £50,000 will pay the 40p rate, as I say. So that if you're a basic rate, uh, basic rate taxpayer, you can transfer £1,000 of your tax-free income to your partner, so we have a proper recognition 
of marriage in the tax system, something I long believe needs to be done. The fourth thing we're going to do is absolutely crucial to delivering this agenda, which is to keep all taxes low for working people and their families by continuing to cut the deficit and living within our means. Now, unlike the other parties standing at this election, we've set out exactly what that means. It's not easy, it will mean more difficult long-term decisions, but it is absolutely deliverable. We've said that in the next two years, we need to find another £30 billion pounds of adjustment, and we've set out, unlike the other parties who've been asked this question, we've told you how we're going to do that. We're going to make a further £13 billion pounds of reductions to departmental spending plans. That's continuing what we've been doing over previous years. We're going to find £12 billion of savings in the welfare budget, because if you don't address the welfare budget, you have to make much more deep cuts in other public spending. And we're going to find £5 billion pounds by continuing to make sure that we go after aggressive tax avoidance and tax evasion in the way that we've done in this Parliament. And that brings me to the fifth pledge, an absolutely vital pledge. We will go on ensuring that those who can afford it pay the most in tax and will continue to crack down on the avoidance and the evasion. These are very practical plans. My view is that we've been through a difficult time in this country. People can now see an economy that's growing and succeeding, and they want to know how this economic plan that's working for the country is going to provide greater security for them and their families. And that is our plan.